ओम शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ थर्टी ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन एट दिस टाइम एवरी वन फॉर्चून इज स्पॉयल्ड बिकॉज एवरी वन इज इम्प्योर यू नाउ हैव टू फॉलो श्रीमत and awaken everyone's fortune so everyone the way to become pure question what very bad activity causes a lot of damage answer to throw stones at one another that is to speak bitterly to someone and hurt that person in that way is very bad behavior it causes a lot of damage you children now have to become roop and basant and imbibe good manners let only imperishable jewels of knowledge constantly emerge from your mouths make yourselves you souls beautiful with remembrance and donate the jewels of knowledge that the father gives you speak very sweet words move away from those who speak bitter words song no one is unique like the innocent lord om shanti fathers are always innocent one is the limited father and the other is the unlimited father there are worldly fathers and the father from beyond this world everyone knows their worldly father you brahmins know both your worldly fathers and your father from beyond a worldly father is also innocent he creates children look up, looks after them works hard and then gives them everything he sometimes even tells lies to earn money he accumulates it so that he can leave it to his grandchildren A father has a lot of love for his children. A child begins to say baba baba in his childhood. The word babul brackets father is very sweet. You children now know the unlimited father. The unlimited father has worked wonders. He gives you so much unlimited knowledge a worldly father cannot explain it to you although he gives you wealth etc he cannot put right that which has been spoiled it is only god the innocent lord who puts right that which has been spoiled every cycle he is the one who puts right that which has been which has been spoiled and he is the one who gives salvation and liberation to all no worldly father teacher or guru can make you into the masters of the unlimited No one else knows the unlimited father or has the knowledge of the beginning the middle and the end of creation Among you children too how the unlimited cycle turns is in your intellects number wise according to your efforts You children know that this drama is predestined it is this that inspires us to make effort 
we will definitely make effort whatever effort each of you made in the previous cycle according to the Srimad you are doing exactly the same now in order to reform everything of yours you can see that all brothers and sisters are engaged in the effort of putting everything right the people of Bharat call out O purifier O one who reforms everything that has gone wrong come it is Ravan that has made everything go wrong through this you have become corrupt in your religion and actions you children have now come to know all of this from the father the human world which is also called the Kalpatri is very well known the secret of this is now in your intellects when people see your pictures they say that it is your imagination that has made you make the Kalpa tree with a duration of 5000 years we explain this very well they too compare the Kalpa tree to a banyan tree they also say that there used to be the original eternal deity religion which has now disappeared according to the drama all the other religions exist now the main world history and geography of heaven that are remembered have to repeat the best history and geography is of heaven everyone says we want the kingdom of Rama where there is no name or trace of sorrow it is now Ravan's kingdom but none of them understands that they are Ravan these things are in the intellects of you children human beings don't know anything at all about how the one who puts everything right comes and how he reforms everything impure ones are said to be those who have become spoiled how your intellects and your fortune were spoiled is now in your intellects their customs and systems are those of Ravan whereas your customs and systems are those of Rama it isn't the Rama of the Silver Age he didn't speak the Gita nowadays they relate the Ramayana etc abroad too some wear saffron robes and go and live in huts you children don't have to stay in huts can there be a school in a hut it is religious beggars who live there this is your study however there is a new government and this is why no one can understand who you are if you explain to one minister another one would say that you are Buddhas these things are completely new Baba continues to explain to you you also have to continue to make corrections you definitely have to write Prajapita Brahma in front of Brahma Kumars and Kumaris by your writing the word Prajapita he is proved to be a father we ask the question what is your relationship with Prajapita Brahma this is because many people have the name Brahma 
even some females have the name brahma no one has the name prajapita and this is why it is essential to have the name prajapita they speak of prajapita and adi dev but they don't understand the meaning of adi dev prajapita would definitely exist here Adidev is then that Brahma bracket the subtle one. Adi means the first one. Prajapita Brahma's daughter is Saraswati. He cannot have a daughter in the subtle region. The creator is here. Only those who have broad and unlimited intellects are able to imbibe these things. together with imbibing you should also have good manners so that anyone who sees you becomes happy the words that you speak are called jewels the father is roop and basant he makes souls beautiful souls have now become ugly and they have to be made beautiful with yoga you children are now becoming roop and basant only imperishable jewels of knowledge should constantly emerge from your mouths you children should have very sweet manners let only jewels emerge from your mouth there are many who continue to throw stones the father gives you jewels of knowledge this is the business of you children it is very bad behavior to throw stones at one another they only cause themselves harm the father is the ocean of knowledge It has been explained to you how subtle his form is. Those people say that he is a lingam brackets oval shaped. First of all give the father's introduction. Let them think that he is an oval shaped light. Explain the deep things later. Then later ask them what the form of a soul is everyone says that a soul sparkles in the center of the forehead and so it would definitely be small a big lingam wouldn't even be able to sit there there would be a bump there first of all make the relationship of the father and child sit in their intellects he is the unlimited father where does brahma come from the father comes and adopts this one that is he enters him your adoption is separate from his adoption the father enters this one The father says this one is my wife I have adopted him I enter him and tell you you are my mouth born creation I have created you through the mouth of Brahma I don't have a mouth of my own How would Shiva say you are my mouth born creation It is explained to you so well. The father says, "All of you souls are my children. You are brothers and sisters. This should enter your intellects. The father is the creator of heaven. So why shouldn't we receive the kingdom of heaven? Not everyone can go to heaven." the father says i grant salvation to everyone you go into liberation 
and then come down number wise to play your parts everyone receives liberation everyone can be liberated from the sorrow of maya you will then have to come down number wise to play your parts you are the first ones to go into liberation in life because you study raj yoga those who study it in the previous cycle are the ones who will come and study it according to the drama the drama is in front of you there are no innumerable religions there was just the one religion in the golden age who established the sun and moon dynasty religions no one knows this you know that only the supreme father the supreme soul establishes the brahmin deity and warrior religions it truly is the one it truly is only the one father who puts right that which has gone wrong in the golden age you won't call out one who puts right that which has gone wrong come here your fortune has been ruined there are the omens of rahu the highest omens are those of jupiter there are now the omens of rahu the whole world is eclipsed by the omens of rahu the whole world has become ugly the golden aged world was gradually eclipsed and the degrees continued to decrease and it has now become the iron aged world the father now says make a donation and the eclipse will be removed you have to conquer maya ravan with the power of yoga vices are donated so that the omens are removed and you become full of all virtues this is a matter of the unlimited no degrees now remain in souls and this is why they receive such such tamo pradhan bodies gold is measured by carats 14 carat 18 carat and there are now no carats in human beings they have no sense at all the father says i made you so sensible i sent you to heaven then while taking 84 births look what you have become you have been around the cycle so many times you claim the kingdom every cycle and then lose it while you are taking rebirth there is expansion of everything the intellects of your children should be very intoxicated the kingdom is now being established the garden of flowers is established at the on, at the confluence age only you brahmins know the confluence age here you children receive jewels then when you go outside you begin to throw stones maya hurts you a great deal such souls are called sinful souls the father says donate the imperishable jewels of knowledge by throwing stones at one another your intellects have turned to stone 
your intellects are now becoming golden from iron so why then do you throw stones if anyone tells you wrong things consider that person to be your enemy never keep the company of or listen to such ones many people defame others some have the habit of defaming others such ones never say anything good about anyone that could benefit him baba always says continue to donate jewels of knowledge tell others what baba tells you you children will you children will surely receive the return of service you have to benefit yourselves don't defame anyone you children have a huge responsibility the father has come to change you from thorns into flowers and so this is also the business of your children the father is teaching you this business therefore this is a factory for changing human beings into deities thorns into flowers your knowledge is the material with which you change from humans in today's days so study this art continue to put right that which has gone wrong make those with stone intellects into those with divine intellects this is your godly missionary just as christians have missionaries who convert others into christians so your godly missionary is to purify impure beings people remember the purifier therefore he must definitely have come he must have started a missionary which was how impure ones became pure rabin's missionary is to make pure ones impure where is rama's missionary is to make impure ones pure the main thing is yoga why would you not remember bap dada from whom you received the inheritance of the sovereignty of heaven you have been remembering bodily beings for the whole cycle and you now have to remember the bodiless one the one without an image the one who doesn't have an image definitely has to come here it is remembered that the brahmin deity and warrior religions were established through brahma this is straight forward brahmins don't have anyone else you know that se baba is your teacher and also your satguru there is just the one satguru he is also the guru of brahma he wouldn't be called the guru of vishnu he became the guru of brahma and made him into the deity vishnu how could he be the guru of sankar Sankar doesn't become impure he has no need of a guru brahma takes 84 births you cannot say that there are 84 births of vishnu or sankar these are such good points to imbibe and to inspire others to imbibe only those who imbibe them and enable others to imbibe them can receive a high status if you don't imbibe anything your status becomes low 
acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharna number 1 never keep the company of those who defame you don't defame others or listen to others who do so in order to make your intellect divine don't eat jewels of knowledge with your mouth second with the material of knowledge do the service of changing human beings into deities and thorns into flowers only do the business of benefiting yourself and others blessing may you be a victorious jewel and enable everyone to receive the father's blessings with the balance of revelation and your promise in order to beat the drums of revelation make a promise with determination to make a promise means to put your life at stake even if you had to give up your life you would not break your promise those who make a promise with determination cannot be defeated by any situation they become a garland around the neck that is they become victorious jewels so revelation will take place when you make such a promise the balance of revelation and your promise is the basis of all souls receiving blessings from bab dada slogan experience the stage of being merged in love and your time will not be spent remembering and forgetting slogan experience the stage of being merged in love and your time will not be spent remembering and forgetting om shanti